chapter 1 uh, it's signs of uh, class 10 so it is chapter 1 of uh, signs uh, in this chapter we are going to learn chemical reaction chemical equation and balancing of chemical equation first we are going to learn chemical reaction so chemical reaction is a process in which two or more compounds interact with each other to produce compounds generally having different chemical properties for example coal when burns in air heat uh, then carbon dioxide is produced so this is a chemical reaction in which different components uh, react in the presence of heat to give a compound carbon dioxide which has different chemical properties than these two means coal and air so here one thing is to be noted that why does why do these two react to form carbon dioxide or wh why this reaction occur so there is the driving force that is heat due to the presence of heat these two reactants react with each other or this reaction occurs to give carbon dioxide so this heat is actually the driving force here it is the driving force this heat is the driving force for this chemical reaction so this reaction the components which react are called reactants these are called reactants and the component which is obtained in the last of the reaction is known as product so in a reaction in the left side the reactants and in the right side we get here it is product now we will see what is chemical equation so a chemical equation is the way uh, in which a chemical reaction is represented on a page so what we have seen in the previous chapter uh, previous uh, page that was coal plus air in the presence of heat heat is given like this one uh, it produce carbon dioxide carbon dioxide so these two are called reactants we have just seen and this is called product and this triangle sign is given for heat so this is a chemical reaction uh, better to say it now chemical equation so this is the way in which a chemical reaction is represented on a page uh, this chemical reaction or this chemical equation can be conveniently written like 
this one coal carbon plus air oxygen when heated it will give carbon dioxide so in a chemical equation the reactants are written in the left side and the product is written on the right side and arrow is given uh, between the two sides indicating the direction of occurrence of the reaction that is from reactant to product reactant to product so in this chemical equation the law of conservation of mass law of conservation of mass uh, it is also known as uh, Lavoisier's law. Lavoisier's law of conservation of mass. So uh, we have learnt this, the law of conservation of mass, in the previous class, in the ninth class, somewhere. So. This law of conservation of mass explains that during a reaction, the mass of reactant side is equal to the mass of the product side. So in a reaction, this law of conservation must be obeyed. So to obey this law of conservation of mass, the number of atoms of each element in both sides that is in the reactant side and in the product side must be equal such as in this reaction that is carbon plus oxygen here we see that uh, the number of carbon atom in this reactant side is one and uh, in the product side it is also one so the number of carbon atom is balanced and uh, the number of oxygen atom in the reactant side is two and in the product side it is also two so in this reaction the number of each element the number of atoms of each elements are equal in these two sides so there's no need of balancing it but in few cases or in other cases we may see that there are several reactions which actually do not follow the law of conservation of mass in that case we have to balance that so now we will learn how to balance the reactions so don't worry in 10th standard we have not to apply tough techniques we will manage it by uh, simple heat and trial methods heat and trial methods for balancing the chemical equation up to this standard however if you want to learn those techniques the link is given in the description uh, you can learn those techniques there so uh, for heat and trial techniques few informal rules may be very helpful first at first try to balance oxygen atom try to balance oxygen atom and at last 
try to balance hydrogen atom. balance hydrogen atom so these two are just a technique informal technique uh, rather now we will see few other examples and uh, try to illustrate the balancing of the chemical equation so now we will see few examples here uh, first example is iron reacts with water it will give iron oxide plus hydrogen so we need to balance this one it is not balanced uh, we can see here that iron is one atom here in the reaction side and in the product side it is three and so on so we need to balance it so first uh, we will balance this one main element that is iron so because here it is singly written so it would be better to balance this one first so it is three this side in the product side so we will just write here three so iron is balanced here now we will come to uh, according to this rule uh, balance oxygen oxygen is 4 here in the product side so we will just write here 4 and so the oxygen atom is balanced now the last technique we will apply here uh, hydrogen atoms so here 4 to 8 hydrogen atoms in the reactant sides so here we will just write 4 so it will become 4 to the 8. So now this is a balanced chemical equation. So this is the way by which we can balance chemical equations. Chemical equation. So this is the heat and trial method. Uh, we just guess the number of atoms both sides and observe whether it obeys the law of conservation of mass or not if the number of atoms of each element on both sides are equal then certainly it will obey the law of conservation of mass now we will take some another example that is barium chloride aluminium sulfate these two will give barium sulfate and aluminium chloride so now we want to balance this one so here sulfate is intact in the both sides so we will assume it as if one atom because as a sulfur so for sulfate both sides are used in the similar way uh, it is not decomposed so here sulfate is 3 and here it is 1 so we'll just write here 3 so sulfate is balanced now it became barium uh, became 3 in this way therefore we will write here 3 so barium is also balanced now chlorine has become 3 to the 6 so we will write here 2 so chlorine becomes 6 and aluminium in this way is balanced so this equation is also balanced so this is the way by which we can balance a chemical equation by simple heat and trial methods so in this chapter what we have learned we have learned that uh, a uh, chemical reaction is a process in which chemically new substances are formed from reactants and chemical equations are just representation of chemical reactions on page and chemical equations are balanced so that law of conservation of mass should not be 
bilateral and chemical equations are balanced by heat and trial method up to this standard that up to 10th class certainly we will learn few other techniques in the next classes in the uh, next video or in the next part of this video uh, we will learn types of reactions types of reactions so it will it would be discussed in the next part of this video of this video so stay subscribed for the next part of the video see you